Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today we're playing around with Gyo the Wind Omiyagi. You must be thinking, Sean, this unit is garbage. It's in my storage for 20 years. I know. But somehow in SWC, she's very, very popular. And right now she's gaining even more popularity in higher rank RTA. So they must know something that we don't. So let's try to find out today why she is so popular and what can you use her against what can you use her with? Let's jump into some RTA and find out together with me how we can lose with every possible scenario. So this is Gyo. Despair Revenge, a popular build in RTA for Gyo. Recent balance patch, she gained an extra additional damage thingy in a passive that doesn't really mean shit, okay? She she doesn't do anything in terms of damage output. The real damage come from her skill to karma effect and that does way more damage than anything and because she had two skills that strip and she gain attack bar pretty much all the time she can strip despair stun very frequently and because she gain attack bar a lot she doesn't need to be on wheel rune so we're gonna go for Gyo. he's going for two water units let's go for something like this okay if i pick oliver then it's not very funny you i you see oliver way too much and she's very good against units that rely on their active skill oliver chung Pung, more Molong, Shizuka, Praha. There are many units nowadays that rely on their active skill, and many of them are water unit. So I think Gyo is gaining popularity because she can kind of slow their momentum, and she can be very annoying in certain scenario. What the frick am I fighting? All right, let's jump right into it. Let's go for the strip. I'm gonna reset this guy so we can kill him very, very quickly. I I can't believe it. Oh shit. <laughs> so she used it and I did some damage to her. Her cooldown is very long now. So that is like the cool thing about the cool thing about Gyo is that you pretty much gain attack by all the time because everyone that you fight nowadays has some sort of active skill that will make your day worse. And the spare stun that comes with it can be very, very cool as well. I wanna show Gyo in the peak form. Who do you pick with the Gyo? You pick Gyo with more annoying units like Masha, Juno, Tetra, Nana, Abelio. Those that brings in survivability in terms of passive. So it is very annoying for the enemy to actually do anything to you. I'm going to bring Gyo and Mouse because I've just been addicted to this guy lately. He's using a flat HP rune. So I'm kind of... <laughs> if I win, like his rune is just not good. But if I win, I can flex on the enemy inside my head knowing that oh my god we probably lost i, I want to ban carlos because if you have the balls to use him you know what you are doing and i don't want to deal with you when you know what you are doing i'm gonna go for abelio because abelio is pretty good against han usually this skill would not kill you but it will put you in a very very bad state and abelio will be knight in white shining armor if they ban this guy the han can still make my life sad because he might ban a belly oh and he go for the kill with this i just die i, I just lose two unit right off the bat yay <laughs> you know what i think i'm dead oh is that oh he want to go second maybe that's the plan all right i'm just gonna borrow some of your attack bar real quick he thought he's gonna revenge maybe maybe he just purposely want to go second but <laughs> oh my god it is turning into a win robo showcase for some reason. All right, we're going to send this one home. I'm going to use this on him because he's going to violent proc, right? Can I defense break? Because he's going to violent proc, right? So we're going to deal with Han somehow. Oh, he's really AFKing. Oh my God. We are finding a paid actor for real. A real paid actor. Um, I'm going to put this on you because you're going to violent proc too, right? I'm pretty sure about that. The defense break from Gyo can be really good as well because... When you pair Gyo with Masha and you have a defense breaker and strip on your team that move all the time, that can be really, really crazy. So what is he doing? Oh! Oh shit, that guy doesn't do any... Oh, things are gonna be bad, but things are gonna be fun. We're gonna go for resistant... Nah, let's go for HP. We need to survive the damage. He doesn't go for crit rate leader. He must be very, very confident in his crit rate. I mean, they should be built with max crit anyway. Okay. Skill 2, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it doesn't go for skill 2. Come on, come on. Oh, it doesn't get baited. It doesn't get baited. Um, What do I do here? Oh, God. 
Should I go for... I'm not sure what to do. Oh, I, I know. I can do this. Can I stun? <laughs> oh, I did! Okay, okay. Maybe we lose a unit. But it's fine, though. It's fine. Who's he gonna go? Oh, he missed! <laughs> Daphnis! Oh, the classic Daphnis situation. Alright, this bird is meaningless now. Right? But what do I do after this? I'm gonna go for the defense break. I'm gonna strip that shield. That shield is big. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kill the bird, maybe? And then we're gonna Oblivion. If I Oblivion Zero too, he won't actually multi-hit. But I wanna Oblivion this guy, actually. I think this is more important. And I'm just gonna go for the damage over here. Uh huh. So he's almost dead. If he use skill two, he's zero HP. And if he does that, he doesn't get any protection, and he's gonna die. All right, he's gonna die to the dots. So we can kind of just ignore him. And the Leo is never gonna move. <laughs> Okay, what a weird ass team. When you see people pick a lot of damage dealer with the Nana, usually banning the Nana is the way to go because Nana give them a lot of momentum if they manage to kill you. So we won three games without actually doing anything. I feel bad now. I want to win real exciting game, not like this shit. He's picking Vert again. We're gonna take the Nana. I think this is the same guy. Oh, oh, he's taking Wusa this time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> If I ban this guy, what are you gonna do? And I'm gonna do just that. This guy doesn't gain attack bar, so it's not that good with Leo. He probably has no speed. I'm on wheel rune with my Robo, so we're definitely gonna take turn one. And we're gonna try to kill the light thing first, because that is the reviver. Depends on... Hey, hey, push back my... What the fuck? I'm going in. I, I, I'm going in. I need to do as much damage as I can. That's not a lot. Oh, that's gonna be a lot for sure. Alright, he's probably gone. After I take this turn, we got some attack bar, but not too much. I'm going to do this on this guy. Bruh. All right, we're going to kill the Reviver. Holy crap, he's so tanky. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Stun? Oh no, he's going to kill with skill too. God damn. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Now I'm in a lot of trouble. I have to focus on this guy. Strip. Thank you. So we can stun him. Because if he moves... He does way too much damage. Oh god, this is bad. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Wow! Really? Oh, we are so lost. He can't survive like this. I don't think so. Why am I missing everything? I have... Oh, really? Oh, we I didn't survive. Wait, what the hell do I do now? We lost already. Wow, this guy is just... No! When your Wusa sleep your win unit, you just calmly just stay calm. And like, he didn't even believe the RNG. <laughs> what am I fighting today? Everyone out here trying to make YouTube video? What am I fighting? If this guy defeat me, I'll be very happy because I want to know what kind of juice he's on. Okay, buddy, bring it on. I'm ready. What kind of Lauren Bill is that? <laughs> I have so many questions. So many questions. It's faster than my Woos if it is really fast. I want to kill the things. Not like immunity is going to protect me anyway. Even if you build Masha on, on an attack build, I don't think that's going to be a very good idea because her, her scaling, half of it is speed. <laughs> so like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> huh, he just got to C3, so I guess he's just... Having a good time. That is very important. We need to fight an Oliver Abuser. Anyway, let's see if we can survive the Molong thing. Three water unit. Three win unit on my team. Three win unit on my team. So, I'm looking kind of good in theory. And that's a game theory. Okay, who's taking first turn? It's your boy. Look, this unit is just unfair. How? How? How are you a four-star unit? Thank God he's a... You know what? This unit is very, very fair. I don't need to use the skill two yet because he's going to heal back everything anyway. So it doesn't really matter. We're going to put that on you. And we're going to put this on you as well. <laughs> he's going to use it. 
So if I do damage earlier, it's going to be all wasted anyway. And here we go. If he violent proc and strip me, that'd be so, so bad. Can I stun? <laughs> oh, I should have put... Hey, use any skill. Oh, he's smart about it. And he's on vampire. I like that. Which means he will not violent proc out of my, my karma thing. Can I stun? I'm going to push back some attack bomb that thing for sure. And then we're going to go for the defense break. I'm not getting anything done. Oh, he can't kill me yet. He is actually going to go for it. I'm going to survive. Push back some attack bar here. Oh, I'm going to get shit on by... Oh, if she kill, but she has a skill to opportunity. So she won't waste that. Oh, she did. I need to get a good old provoke from this guy. Please. I have 30 accuracy, right? That's a lot of accuracy. Okay, we got a good provoke. Why is ev Is that thing on max resistance? It has to be. There's no other way around this. That thing must be on max resistance. Use something. I need the attack bar. Thank you. Stop procking. Oh, fuck. How do I touch him? I can't. <laughs> At least he's losing all his protection. Give me a turn, goddammit. Uh-oh. Can I crit? At least that's not bad. Some free cooldown for me. Gonna do that. Just take away that thing from Shizuka. And stun. Have I despair stun this game? Oh. Can I crit? Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, my Uza's not moving. He's gonna heal. I have the shield to block the healing though. The shield's gonna take some of the damage away. Oh, he used it on the one with the least HP. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs> There's just nothing more you can do. I'm gonna do this actually. Fuck it. Right? We're gonna try to go for some funny. <laughs> oh, that is just annoying. That is just so annoying. Now he can't even touch me. <laughs> he can't... What? But anyway, we're gonna do this on you. And say goodbye to your winning chance. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, not bad. Alright, that last match with the Tyrannus, it was interesting. But it was very long and boring. So, these are, I think, way better. I did some RT after I finished recording. Because I thought doing RT is fun. <laughs> so, I got some really, really good matches with Gyo. And she is just absolutely amazing. My ranks is increasing like crazy. So in this match, he's going with a control comp. I'm going in with a, I will survive and make your life miserable kind of comp. So he's going in with control. I just go in, drop some karma, trying to survive. Tetra, Juno combination is really, really annoying. So Gyo kind of survive here. And thanks to that miss, actually he get a violent proc. We survive with the healing from Tetra, which is kind of insane, by the way. If you have Tetra, you want, you need to try that unit out. So when you build Gyo, just make sure she's really tanky because she just have to be there and survive because this kind of enemy team, very popular. You find these people all the time and they all need to use their skill some way or another. And you get attack bar, you pretty much don't have cooldown on your skill and, and that is just awesome. So this guy is out of cooldown because... Yeah, Gyo. <laughs> and you move all the time. And if you are using unit like Juno, like Tetra, like Nana, you will survive and you will do just fine. So we're just gonna <laughs> abuse the living hell out of, out of Gyo because it, she is just so annoying. It is also a good showcase of Tetra. So she gained attack bar, she got between, she despair stun, she put more pressure with defense break, and the karma, and it's just absolutely amazing. This time we are fighting Xenio Gamer, going in with a lot of LD Nat 5, Gyo, Masha, Juno, Nana, as usual. We have no healer, but he started off not using any skill because he doesn't want to give Gyo any attack bar at all. He reset Gyo skill too, but it doesn't really matter because I have it. <laughs> You see, the beautiful thing about this unit is that you pretty much always have it. But this, this Oliver, very tanky because my Masha did not do a whole lot of damage to this guy. But he can't really do much. With June on the field, uh, Tyrannus and Lima become not as good because they give me a lot of healing thanks to their debuff and also allow me to put a lot of dots on the enemy right there. So he's going to try to control my gear while she's stunned. But now I have Juno 
and Amasha going absolutely crazy. And he's using all his skill on Gil. <laughs> Even though it doesn't increase my skill cooldown at all. So if I get the chance to move, then it, it is just not fun. The annoying thing about Riley is that you cannot actually use Karma on that unit and actually deal anything, any effect, any damage to it because the skill 4 doesn't have any cooldown. So that is kind of annoying. So the moment you bring down Oliver, the game is pretty much over because the other three, they're weak against Juno. They also have a lot of skill to be used. And that also means I can put so many things on them. And the defense break from Gio is very underrated. I think that's one of the more underrated thing about this unit is that it pretty much has defense break every single turn with a strip on top of it. It is a very, very solid thing. All right, guys, that is my quick Gio showcase. I mean, Wind Robo showcase today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Press like, subscribe. I don't even say that anymore nowadays. Bye-bye.